Come in a smarter way and be well prepared for yourself. That's one thing that's going to change. And get ready for a softball. Because I haven't fought a softball since my fourth professional fight. So this is my first softball in a long time, so I'll be ready for that. And seeing, seeing him get knocked out the last time, you, you feel you can do the same with your power? Uh, like I said, I hit harder than, I hit harder than Marquez. And I'll be ready. I'll be ready. I think I think that would suit me very well because uh, 140. I, I was making 140 comfortably, but I think making 147 would be even easier. That last two, three pounds don't have to you don't have to kill that so that much. Uh, 147, I'll be even better. How do you plan to counter his speed? Uh, there's ways we gotta work on it. You know? There's ways we gotta do it. Uh, Block, you know, I block a lot of shots. People don't give me credit for it. So there's different ways that we got to work on it, and that's when we go in the gym and we practice and we do what we got to do to win the fight. You plan on smothering him? I plan on doing what I always do. I'm going to be on his face, toe to toe, breathing down his throat. That's my job, and that's what I fight. Uh, matter of fact, uh, nobody can say what he has done in the world of boxing. He was the only one that have done uh, eight times world champion, eight different weight divisions. But it's my time now. I'm young and I'm hungry. Brandon, what do you make of this whole world tour uh, kind of thing? Oh, it was badass. Something new to me, man. It was at first I was very. When I went to Macau, I never had lost words before. I lost the words, man. I, I'm not nervous about the fight. It was nervous that my first big event that I'm hosting and a main event at a big pay-per-view fight. That was my. It was only like a little shocking for me. I lost the words, but. Now I'm used to it. I, it took a day to get used to it, so this, I'm ready. This kind of gonna help you for fight week. You know, fight week is probably crazy out there as well. It's all right, man. I'll be ready for it. Cause you know what? At the end of the day, I'm not fighting the crowds. I'm fighting Manny Pacquiao. We're gonna be in the ring. That's who I'm fighting. How many times have you thought that this guy, the last time people saw him, he was basically being scraped off the canvas? And a lot of fighters are never the same after that. Have you thought about that? Then yes and no, because. A lot of fighters have been like that, and a lot of fighters have came back stronger. So we don't know how, like I said, I'm not Manny Pacquiao mentally and physically. I don't know how bad it, it hurt him or how mentally he's going to be right. But I know mentally and physically I'll be ready, and I'm always ready. How important is it to you to, to make a statement early in the fight? Uh, I'm going to go out there and do what I got to do. Anything you want to say in closing? Huh? Anything you want to say in closing? The world is going to, all my critics, all the people that fucking doubt me, they're going to see a new champion. They're going to see, not a champion, but they're going to see a new superstar rise. And that's going to be, that's going to be me. And I'm going to shut everybody up. Because they doubt me once, and they doubt me again, I got to shut you guys up. So I'll be ready.